Thank you everyone for being um, with us today. We just really want to hear about the wonderful work that you've been doing um, to progress access to restorative justice in this case um, through the DIVER programme. If we could start with a round of introductions, that would be fantastic. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Paul and I'm the Deputy Manager of Restorative Cleveland Safer Communities. Uh, Paul Solomon, I'm Mary, Mary Lindsay, as you can hear. Uh, Yusuf is a jolly Arabic interpreter from Ibn Dhamu Solution. Hussam Ibrahim Mohammed, I'm from Iraq. And I'm Sam Braithwaite, and I'm a Diver Support Officer from Diver. Brilliant, thank you. Sam, um, just to kind of start with you, what, what made you think that this case was suitable for RJ? Um, just through the initial assessment, um, we sort of try and see if it's appropriate, what help he needs. And with Sam just seems so genuine and sort of that one-off mistake that was a great opportunity to get him in touch with people and let them know that. Yeah. وطبعاً بقول لك يعني إيش اللي خلاهم يعني ااا تقبلون أو تعتقدون بأن وسام هو أفضل قضية ممكن نتكلم فيها بقول لك إنه شافوك إنك أنت من خطأ واحد بسيط يعني وشاف نفسك إنك والله فعلاً أنت من جد حسيت بال 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 بالخطأ والندم وإنك يعني تريد تتغير من من حياتك يعني وهذا فرصة لل للجماعة هذيلا الجمعية لأن يعرفوك على الجهات الأخرى الثانية اللي ممكن يساعدونك إن ما ما ترتكب أي حاجة ثانية في المستقبل يعني. Thank you. Um, Paul, can you tell us a little bit about the case and what actually has happened? Yes. So Sam made the contact through the referral process that we have, which is obviously is very simple. Um, and when I assessed it, obviously for those that there needs to be carrying out assessment to test those remorse levels. Um, obviously there was a language barrier there, so Sam made that really easy with contact with yourselves on the translation service to carry out that initial assessment on his remorse levels. Well, of Sam, in the beginning, Sam الفكر منها لأن لما لما يحول واحد ارتكب أي مخالفة يحولونه بالدار عندنا فيتم تقييم الشخص هذا ويشوفون مدى مدى من الشخص هذا من ارتكاب المخالفة هذه فبالتقييم هذا يبين لهم إنه والله الشخص هذا ممكن لأن أهم شيء الابتعاض يكون إنه الشخص إنه يعترف بخطأ وعلى شان عشان يتقدم وما يرتكب مرة ثانية لازم الاعتراف بالخطأ ومعرفة إيش هو الخطأ يعني so following that, the process one uh, then was to visit the store and to see if they would like to engage in a restorative process. Fortunately, I was able to um, say through the assessment that Wissam was genuinely remorseful and he was working well with Sam um, as his supervisor on that and the manager agreed to receive in the first instance an apology letter. <laughs> ف عن طريق مترجم الشركة توفر مترجمين إنه والله جبنا مترجم وفي التقييم هذا بين لنا إنه والله إن الشخص هذا فعلا يعني ندمان على اللي حصله فأول خطوة هذا شنو هي إن رسالة اعتذار كتعتبر يعني أول خطوة إنك 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 فعلا صادق في 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 مشاعرك وفي إنك أنت ارتكب الخطأ هذا فرسالة اعتذار كانت أول خطوة كانت يعني and when I returned to the store with the letter, uh, I translated it um, from Wissam's native language. He was so impressed that he said he would be willing to meet Wissam for him to apologize. That was organized and at the back of it, and he's allowed me to say his name, Michael from the store Little, um, on that day invited Wissam to go back into the store as a shopper. He was so impressed. وطبعا يقول لك ان الرساله هذه اخذتها طبعا ترجمت الرساله هذه يعني ووديتها للمحل اللي هو ليفل والشخص يعني كان كان منبهر من الرساله هذه يعني من الاعتذار هذا وقبل انك تيجي المدير مايكل شاف يعني هذا وقال له والله انا ما عندي مانع يجي وفعلا خلاه يجي للمحل كمتسوق يعني انه قبل اعتذارك الصادق هذا يعني. How did you feel? At that point, 
قضيتي انحلت وبعد انه اروح واتسوق و يعني امشي حياتي طبيعيه. سي اي واز كوت جلاد اند هابي ذات ماي ابولوجي واز اكسبتد اند سو كان بي ام الاو تو جو انتو ذا شوب اند دو ماي شوبينج از ا نورمال بيرسون اند يو نو اند فورجيت ذا وات وات هابن اند ماي ابولوجي واز اكسبتد. I suppose on another note, um, when when offences like this occur, sometimes not uh, as a result of the store manager, but the company or um, orchestrate what's called civil recovery. And in this case, um, Wissam was um, charged to pay a good bit of money cons considering his means. Um, but then we worked together to actually get that dropped. So I told Wissam's story to the civil uh, recovery company and Wissam gave me some information that was pertinent to that and mm -hmm. thankfully he didn't have to pay the monies that they were after which is a good outcome. Well, of course, one of the things that we have to pay for is the money that we have to pay for. Of course, he didn't have to pay for the money or the money, but he was a company. Of course, the company was a company. Of course, the company was a company to pay for the money. شركه ثانيه لتحصيل فطبعا المبلغ كبير وانت ما عندك امكانيه الامكانيه ضعيفه ومبلغ كبير فانا تكلمت وشرحت الوضع والله كان مالي من المعلومات اللي اعطتني اياها انت يعني الى الشركه والشركه هاي اللي تحصل الديون هذه يعني والحمد لله قدرنا توفقنا ان يلغوا الغرامه هذه او 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 التحويل هذا اللي هو يعني And I guess for me, for the first time, actually, this process was made far easier because you could think of the complexities surrounding that. Mm -hmm. With the excellent translation service, we mm -hmm. wouldn't have probably been able to achieve that as quickly and as successfully, mm -hmm. to be fair. Why do you feel that would have been a barrier if you hadn't have had UCAS support with Wissam? I think taking into account that Wissam does know a little bit, I tried to use the old Google Translate <laughs> but it's just not as efficient <laughs> as having someone who speaks the native language and it just made that process quite seamless. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 جوجل ترانزليت بس بس مو مثل واحد يقول قدام بدنا نشرح لك التفصيل يعني كذا يعني فعشان كذا هذا سهل علينا الامر يعني كان كان مشكله كبيره لان فعلا الحاجز اللغوي هذا في شيء واحد ما في صعبه جدا يعني فيقول عشان كذا وجود المترجم موجود يعني فهذه سهل الامور هذه وخلانا نخلص الموضوع هذا بسلاسه وبسرعه اكثر يعني. How did that feel for you too? I personally uh, I'm, I'm experienced for 14 years, and I, um, I, I do a lot of work with the court, with the probation services, well, and, and the health side, sort of thing, and the legal side. So for me, I understand, because we understand the culture, I understand both cultures, and you know, sometimes one, something in, 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 in one culture is not as bad as the other culture, sort of thing. So there's a difference, sometimes people misunderstand things and make things worse. You know, especially when it comes to offenses and all that. Mm -hmm. So that, that that actually, uh, from from my experience, it helps a lot to basically uh, remove those barriers or uh, or explain the, the the situation. Because a lot of time when I go with the probation services, I sometimes explain some sort of cultural thing in order for the officer to understand. Okay, why you behave this this way? You know, sometimes explaining things, just interpreting as a machine, doesn't work. Sometimes, so that you have to explain, go beyond that, and explain the culture, and in order that the officer who's, who's dealing with with the offender can understand why this happened and how can deal with it. So for, for me, it's it's I think the service I'm providing is not only just language, language and understanding the culture and the cultural differences and all that, because not everybody knows the difference, especially if the probation officer never met. Uh, you know, someone from different culture, yeah. dealt with, with with English people only. So things, so that 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 would be the, the, the one of the barriers, or you know, sometimes with, with the offender, something. Why I'm going through all this? Mm -hmm. What's all this about? And sometimes, it, and and we try to talk the the, the remorse bit of, of it. Mm -hmm. uh, if like 
I have to explain to the, the Arabic speaker, like, why are we doing this? You know, in order for you to move forward, you have to understand that what you, well, the, the act you, you did is, is, is wrong, and you have to understand it's, it's wrong, and you actually genuinely want to change that, and, and, you, and you don't want to offend again. So sometimes you have to explain that, because you say, okay, I've, 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 I've done my sentence, I paid my fine, why they're you know, chasing me, why I have to go do the, the uh, uh, attend the meetings and all that. So I had to explain to them, in order for you not to offend, yes, you will say I will never do it again because of the punishment being custodial or, or not, mm -hmm. but sometimes you, you, some people say that, I've, I've done it, that's the thing, just leave me alone. I say, it's not that. For, for you, they don't want you to re-offend. Re that's the whole thing about this. The whole punishment is not only just taking your money away from you or, uh, you know, or, or, or your... Uh, um, freedom is actually to understand what you've done is actually wrong so in, in, in a society where law is actually abiding. Because a lot of countries I know that uh, police are not that strict. Things happen if you know someone, they let go and all that. So there's a lot of favorism and all that. Uh, so then said, to explain to them, this is different here. So sometimes that helps both sides to understand how the system works. Because uh, and, and saying the system, that makes it easier for the offender to understand, you know, what what's what's going on. Then I've got the اختلاف العادات والتقاليد اختلاف القوانين بريطانيا وبلدان نحنا المحسوبية الواسطة عندنا صير شغلة فأمور هذه كثيرة يعني فشرحت الموضوع هذا. I think you've made such an important point about it being the broader context and not just about repeating something that somebody else is saying it about mm -hmm. respecting someone else's cultural differences yeah. how did that feel for you as in to be able to have your background respected in in that way <laughs> من انت يعني انت انت اصلا من وين شغلك احترام لك انت يعني فكيف كان شعورك انت لما واحد يتعامل معك بالطريقه هذه الراقيه يعني من يتعامل الموظفين ديال يعني كان كويس يعني تعاملهم و... وشعورك شلون يعني كان شلون شعورك كان يعني كثير انه ارتاحت لهم يعني انه اسلوبهم معي بالحكي وتعاملهم ومساعدتهم الي وكل شيء يعني انه هم قدروا كل كل الامكان انه يساعدوني I, I, I'm quite happy because the, my feeling is that uh, the respect they gave me, dealing with me in a certain way, that I'm not just an offender, I'm a human being, people do make mistakes and will, will, will repent and move on. And, and they helped me a lot. I mean, they, they, they helped me to, with, with, with the case itself, so they helped me with the, with the other as aspect of it done the punishment, but then there's other aspect of it, which they helped me a lot, and they respected me, and they treated me with, with respect, which is, I really uh, appreciate that. That's really wonderful to hear. It does, it's my job, right. Paul, is there anything that, that you'd like to add and, and <coughs> Sam, do you know, just about how uh, you feel about the outcomes, really, and the support from, from you, Sophie? Yeah, I, I think the support from yourself, uh, uh, and whoever else that we had the pleasure of speaking to from the service, it just really highlighted what I do in ev everyday practice, what we do here about what we talk about restorative justice, restorative of process. Mm -hmm. And one of those key principles is accessibility. So without this service, that would have been a barrier. But that, we found a way uh, to work together, and I, th I think it really worked well, the outcomes stand for themselves. Uh, that, that, that we really hit that accessibility in giving we send the best opportunity and chance to be able to voice his feelings and thoughts which were really respected by the manager of the store. But I'm going to say that we thank Yusuf and the other people who have been able to use them. They have been able to use them before. They have been able to use them before. They have been able to use them لأن هم ساعدونا مساعدات كانت كبيرة جدا إن نفهم شعورك وقدرنا نوصل أسفك أنت وشعورك أنت إلى مدير المحل اللي هو قدر يتعاون معك يعني بالطريقة هذه قدرنا إحنا نتعاون مع بعض ونوصل فكرتك أنت فكرتك أنت 
واسبك انت الى الجهات الاخرى وطبعا مهمتنا احنا ان الحفاظ على العداله حفاظ العداله وارجاع الامور الى طبيعتها فكيف تحافظ على العداله ان الشخص ما يفتك مره ثانيه وترجع امور الى طبيعتها مثل ما كانت ان الشخص لما يتاسف تقدر تروح المحل تسوق مره ثانيه ترجع الامور الى طبيعتها يعني كذا الفكره And I think I just want to echo what everyone else has said. That I think the support is an empathetic manner that the um, translation services actually engaged with ourselves. It's really made it easier to help support with Sam and getting the help past the schemes to keep him engaging. Because otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to do any of this or get him anywhere near what we have now. <laughs> ان نقدر نوصل الفكره هذه وان نوصل نوصل مشاعرك انت وافكارك انت وكلامك انت الى الجهه الثانيه الطرف الاخر يعني وان ساعدنا انه يعني نقدر تستفيد انت من الخدمات اللي قدموها يعني تقدر تستفيد منها والفكره منها انك والله ترجع لحياتك الطبيعيه وتنسى الماضي يعني. Thank you. Your story is incredible and exactly the reason why Diver and Restorative Justice can fit so wonderfully well together because it is about moving forward and it's that opportunity, quite rightly, to be diverted away from, from prosecution where the circumstances really do warrant that. Well, I'm going to tell you about this idea and what we said about it. The idea of it is not just to deal with the person who says, الذب في السجن yeah. او كذا يعني ففي طرق ثانيه انه ممكن تعدل من تصرفات الشخص هذا yeah. انه تخليه يتعب ثم ما يكرر الخطا هذا مره ثانيه يعني فالناس yeah. في فرصه يعني بالضبط هي الفكره كذا مو بس انه انا اذب في السجن واخرب مستقبله الفكره من انه نعطيه فرص ثانيه انه بني ادم خطاء يعني ولكن ممكن نعطيه فرص انه يتعب وما يكرر الخطا هذا يعني And we wish you all the best for the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome.